Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Oh, I can't get used to it. Anyway, my name is Umpile from Become a Soul Book Club and if this is your first time coming, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So today I actually wanted to show you guys some of the books that I received from publishers and authors um, from the beginning of the year. Okay, maybe I'm lying. One book is from last year, but um, I just wanted to talk you through and show you some of the books that I've got. Um, I'll actually start with the the book that I got last year from a competition that I won. I won this book, um, Joy at Work by Mary Kondo and Scott I'm not gonna say his surname let's just say his name is Scott S but yeah I got this book from Nutri Nutrix it's a um, it's a, a blog and Instagram page and everything really uh, two sisters they are fabulous and um, I follow them for tips on cooking and baking and everything so I got this um, they were running a giveaway and I thought actually uh, I've never read anything by Mary Kondo and I do have a non-fiction for each fiction book that I read rule which I've been struggling with for the past year so I think this will be um, will be one of the books that I read for my non-fiction um, stack so I'm looking forward to this Actually, I think I'm going to read the back of each book just to give you an idea of what is in here. Mary Kondo, author of the worldwide number one bestseller, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying, and organizational psychologist Scott S. Team up to bring joy to work. The workplace is a magnet for clutter and mess. Clutter and mess, guys, is my problem. Who hasn't felt drained by wasteful meetings, disorganized papers, endless emails, and unnecessary tasks? These are the modern day hazards of our jobs and they can slowly drain the joy from work, limit our chances of career progress, and undermine our well-being. There is another way. In Joy at Work, best-selling author and Netflix star Mary Kondo and Rice University business professor Scott, S Scott S offer stories, studies, and strategies to help you eliminate clutter and make space for the work that really matters. Using the world-renowned KonMari method and cutting-edge research, Joy at Work will help you overcome the challenges of workplace mess and enjoy the productivity, success, and happiness that come with a tidy desk and mind. I feel like it, this shouldn't even apply to only work spaces, it should apply to your your space, your entire space. Um, so we've been trying to clean off some of the clothes that we're not wearing um, and some of the old books. I do actually have like, um, sometimes I, I, I go through my bookcase and I go through my catalog um, and I, I take out books that I'm not, I'm not gonna not gonna read and then I take them to the second hand bookstore. Uh, I don't know. It, Actually, I start with asking people around me if they're interested in this particular book and then I will actually take it to the second hand bookstore for a, um, a credit on my account, you know. So I think this is going to help me out to just organize my, not just professional life, but my, my life. So that is one book that I've got um, through a, a, a giveaway. I'm looking forward to it probably later on in the year but I'll see so this book I got from the author um, Jackie Burnett uh, last week so ongoing now these are the books that I got this year so some of them I got them first of the first week of the year and then I didn't actually um, post about them or anything like that but yeah life's not yoga or is it finding love in the chaos of life so this was sent um, by the author and I'm looking forward to reading it 
I'll, I'll, I'll probably do another video for this. But let me read the back of the book uh, just to give you an idea of what the book is about. This is how it looks like at the back and the front. Okay, so this is published by Sophie Blue Press. It's Jackie's... Uh, okay, so this is what someone says about um, Jackie's book. It's Jackie's engaging, frank voice and fierce self-inquiry that drive this fast-paced, gripping tale through all its spirited twists and turns. Um, born into a perfect family by 16, Jackie Burnett wants to kill her father with his gun. Decades later, in her early 40s, Jackie believes she has left her turbulent past and the trauma of eight near-death experiences behind her. On the surface, she has everything she's ever dreamt of, an education, success, and a wonderful husband. What Jackie doesn't know is that she's about to lose everything. I was about to step into a board meeting, but instead I slid from my office chair and cowered under my desk, sobbing. As managing director, I was meant to announce a year of outstanding results. Instead, I was paralyzed. That's taken from um, a paragraph in the book. In a desperate search for answers, Jackie travels to America, alone in the Rocky Mountains. Her life starts unraveling and the truth of her chaotic childhood brings, begins to emerge. Sorry. In her confused attempts to find love and meaning, Jackie has to face death one more time, along with an avalanche of unexpected obstacles before rising from the ashes to heal. So that is... Uh, life's not yoga or is it finding love in the chaos of life? I thought um, I'd say yes to this book because I feel like I need and it's it's nonfiction again and um, I'm interested to know what what steps did she take whether it be uh, Therapy or yoga. We don't know. So we'll see. I am looking forward to reading this very much so that's another book that i got and um the third book i got last week i actually posted on my stories about this book and i read from it so if you missed it it is on instagram tv and it should be on youtube this week um i'll download that uh video and yeah and load it up on youtube but this book Yellow Means Stay, an anthology of love stories from Africa. And this is um, part of the Afritondo Prize 2020. This was published by Afritondo Media and Publishing. Isn't it a gorgeous cover? It's so creamy. I said it's, it's yummy. Like the pages even are just... Oh, guys, anyway... Let me read the back of the book and what people or what um, judges said about. I think it's judges. I'm not sure. I stand to be corrected. But I got this book from Apitondo, uh, one of the, the editors. And yeah, I got it last week. But yo, it took a while to get here because of lockdown, obviously. But it was worth it. And I'm looking forward to reading it. I need to actually just, yeah, I need to get to it. But this is what Megan Ross, the author of Milk Fever, says about this book. This anthology is effervescent. Oof. From tales of tender, forbidden love to those that elicit gasps from their reader, these stories of connection, intimacy, and lust are a delicious read. <laughs> and Gloria Moniga, 2020 Miles Morland Scholar, says about this book, the stories in this anthology are inventive, complex, and funny. They leave one with the feeling of having encountered gifted storytellers. Guys, I mean, Yellow Means Stay is a collection of enthralling, sad, humorous, and heart-touching heart love stories from across Africa and the Black Diaspora. It features new and award-winning writers from across the African continent and beyond. The stories are a dynamic blend of the poetic and narrative, the spousal and familial, 
the suggestive and explicit, the dramatic and measure, the straight and queer, the sad and humorous, the past and future, life and afterlife. Through its pages, readers enter the world of African literature, love and romance. And um, let me just read some of the, the authors. Uh, also, some of the authors are from Namibia. Okay, Remy Ngamije is from Namibia. Um, Obioma Obina Kelechi is from Nigeria. So this is like authors from Nigeria, South Africa, Lesotho, Uganda. Um, Abimbola Alaba is, is in the United Kingdom. Um, Deborah Vuha is from Ghana. And Noel Cheruto is from Kenya. I like um, Remy Ngamije's uh, title. Only stars know the meaning of space. Oh, guys. Like, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. And it opens up with a um, South African proverb that says, Love like rain does not choose the grass on which it falls. I mean, how gorgeous. Look here. Oh. Um, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I read from it, so uh, I will also link up the video. It should be, once I'm done, I'll link it up in the descriptions. And the third, the fourth book. Okay, the fourth book I got was um, from Pan Macmillan. Uh, Pan Macmillan Kiss. Yes. Pan Macmillan sent me this book. The... Uh, this is the, is it, what do, they, what do they call it? I'm missing the, the name for it. I'll, I'll get it. But this is um, Concrete Rose from the author of The Hate You Give. I do have The Hate You Give. Um, I love the covers. Beautiful. Um, I haven't read The Hate You Give, but I... I want to actually have the complete, um, an author's complete work. So I want to have on the come up, which is her sophomore. I need to get on the come up first and then I will start all of them at once. So this one, uh, what do they say about it? Okay. A searing exploration of black manhood set 17 years before the events of the hate you give. With his King Lord dad in prison and his mom working two jobs, 17-year-old Maverick Carter helps the only way he knows how, sling, slinging drugs. There's not perf Life's not perfect, but he's got everything under control until he finds out he's a father. Suddenly, it's not so easy to deal drugs and finish school with a baby dependent on him for everything. So when he's offered the chance to go straight, he takes it but when king lord blood runs through your veins you don't get to just walk away so like i can't wait i think i need to i need to look for on the come up even if i don't read on the come up i want to read because these are two these two are, are are related i can't wait i love the covers so yeah that's the other book that i got from um pen macmillan and then the last book i got which i actually did a reel of on my instagram page is a a new edition of dr t's a guide to sexual health and pleasure so now it has it's it's, it's an updated edition and it's got new content and it's got that bestseller hi miguel and it's nice and tiny and oh, I can't wait. So this, okay, so um, Dr. T's book is bestseller. Uh, I'm not sure I was following how many reprints I need to check, but I'm gonna read the back of the book and what Sisonkam Samang says about the book. Dr. T's voice, contemp sorry, contemporary and thoroughly African is vital in a country where too many women are taught to be ashamed of their bodies and their sexual desires and too many men believe they should shame women yeah 
the indomitable Dr. Laleng Mufugeng, affectionately, affectionately known as Dr. T or Dr. Klop Klop, is passionate about making sexual health and well-being services available to all, regardless of their sexual and gender identities and their economic status. This updated edition of her best-selling book is filled with the specifics of sexual anatomy and health, as well as advice and facts about pleasure and sexual rights, and includes additional resources along with new sections on coercive control as well as sex and pleasure during the time of COVID. Dr. T, with her typically honest and warm approach, makes the reader feel comfortable reading about topics that are not always discussed freely, providing all the information that demystifies sex and sexuality in a way that is entertaining and enlightening. So, yeah. And, um... I'm actually looking forward to reading this. So this will be um, in my non-fiction for each fiction book that I read um, stack as well. That stack over there is of all my hopefuls for this quarter. And um, just to give you an update on what I've been reading, I'm on my third book of the year, thir book three of 12. Yes, I said 12. Uh, I'm on my third book. I listened to two audiobooks. So I'm currently listening to a new one, which is now book four. I listened to Commons' Let Love Have the Last Word, which is for me a memoir. Well, it's it's a memoir, but for me, I felt like it was thoughts of, of what he thinks of love. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't see it as a memoir. But anyway, I read that. Well, I listened to that via Libby. Uh, and then I read Mess by Dudu Busani Dube. And I just finished I Almost Forgot About You by Terry McMillan. And Terry was reading the book as well. Oh, and Common as well. There's something about listening to a book being read by its author that I really appreciate. So yeah, I enjoyed that book and um, it's romance and it's, it's, it's sort of like motivational as well. Uh, I actually, I, I need to, to read some of Terry's work as well. Cause I mean, this is, this is probably her third book or something. Yeah. I need to check, but anyway, yeah, that is the stack that I got for the for the first month of the year. I'm actually hoping that I'll be able to as my as as I get new books, uh, as I buy new books. I know I've got uh, new books coming that I I got from Bargain Books. I'm getting um, books from Bargain Books which I had put uh, aside. I need to get them, but yes. I'm getting those books, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to, like, show you the books immediately when I get them and post more videos. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will subscribe and like and share and comment um, with feedback or whatever you're reading, and let me know what, what, what you think of these videos. There are some videos in the, um, in the descriptions. Uh, is it descriptions or my library? Yeah, there's other videos that you can watch. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon again. Maybe next week. I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys. Bye.